Hello everyone and welcome to our ninth video in our survival game series done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies and today we are going to take a quick look at creating um, materials and textures to, and applying them to objects and uh, also creating um, some uh, cool lighting, some uh, some point lights and some glowing effects and uh, stuff like this. Um, so first of all go ahead and open up Unity. It looks exactly like it did before. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and rename this terrain to um, grassy terrain. If we're going to have multiple levels or it's going to persist of different kind of terrains. And first of all, something that annoys me is just how much green uh, this terrain has. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and create a road that leads up to our house. So. Um, we can uh, go ahead and select the brushes and then uh, open up our browser uh, and look for a texture road texture um, and i'm sure that if you search for road texture it could be hard to find something we could try it out um yes it's it's going to look something like this and we could make it out of concrete um, but I want something more like gravel, gravel texture, seamless. Um, yeah, I think this actually is pretty good. Um, could try that out. Uh, this one is not bad either. Um, actually, let's uh, get this a try. So um, save it up and uh, drag it into Unity. And once again, rename it. We're going to rename this to Gravel Texture 01. And uh, we are going to uh, simply select our terrain. Also, one thing I forgot, in our project pane, go down and rename the terrain that lies here. So this is basically the backup data for the terrain that is in our scene. And let's uh, name this exactly the same, so Grassy Terrain. Now select our terrain in the scene, go to edit textures, add texture, and then just drag in our gravel. And uh, the size is going to be, let's start out by 10, 10 by 10, and add, select it, and we can then go ahead and just simply paint it out. So um, I'll select a brush that is a little more rough in this its edges, maybe that one, and uh, bring the brush size down, something like this, and then simply uh, start painting. So it'll just go around like this, and where it ends up with the mountain might not look that good, and uh, might not look that good either here. But this is basically where I want a small city or village to be. So I'll just make something like this for now. Very classic RPG type game. Um, looking something like this. Let's go ahead and preview this in game. Um, so I think that the texture is too big. Uh, generally the, the textures are too big. So um, I guess we'll just leave that and adjust those later. Um, not the best textures that I've chosen, um, but um, this just applies some detail. It's nice. All right, so I um, can go ahead and save this. Um, and let's now look at uh, creating some textures for the walls. So let's just choose some kind of uh, wooden walls. Um, if we are uh, using maces and swords, you might not have made the, those out of bricks. So uh, let's type <sighs> plank texture seamless. See if anything comes up. Yes, this one is not bad. Looks like something that could have stood outside. So save this and drag it into Unity, and you probably know the procedure so far. So, um, planks, texture, zero one. Also, you don't have to put texture um, on in every in every name. It just use your own system, right? So, um, the input settings looks fine. 
Uh, now let's go ahead and create a new material. So um, the uh, terrain basically doesn't need its uh, material. It handles sort of this lighting uh, properties and, and that itself. So, uh, but a object does. So let's hit the, um, let's right, right click in our assets, hit create material, and then uh, call this planks and drag in our texture. The main color still needs to be white. Um, it's going to be a diffuse texture. And then we can just go ahead and drag it on to our different walls. And uh, something that has been annoying me a bit is the fact that these um, are not actually on the wooden plate. So um, let's just go ahead and adjust the transform to make them a little more precise. No need to be perfect. Um, again, this should be done in other applications. I'm just showing you how to do this. Especially the modeling part. The texturing can be done in Unity just using Seamless. But um, come on, guys. I, I'm sure you can figure something out. All right, so uh, this looks better. If we go ahead and preview it in game, I can see that we might want a uh, tile these one more time. So this is done by selecting the material and go under tiling and then hitting uh, 2 2. Let's try that. Yeah, this looks better actually. Maybe 2 or uh, 3 2. So it tiles one extra down the middle. I think this, uh, this looks good. Uh, kind of a high rest texture. So um, one thing uh, I, I want to change now is that this is just a diffuse shader. I want to apply some more lighting detail. Um, you, there no needs for you to do this, but um, at some point I think we should go into normal mapping and uh, bump mapping and uh, all these different kind of uh, kinds of techniques. So um, if, if you are way ahead, you can go ahead and download Crazy Bump and. Uh, see if you can figure it out yourself. But for now, uh, let's create a model that can act as our light, so, uh, or a lamp. So let's go ahead and go under game object, create other, and then hitting this sphere, and zero, 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 bringing it up a bit, hitting F to zoom in, game object, create other, and then cylinder, Scaling it down. This is a mount on the wall. Uh, so this will act as a mount. And scale it down. Create yet another game object. This is going to be a cube. Drag it down, scale it down, make it longer. This is actually the part that is going to be mounted on the wall. And bigger on some axes, scale it down to look like a plank. And there you go, this is pretty decent. Not amazing, but it'll do for now. So this is our lamp that we can mount on our wall. So we can go ahead and rename the sphere to lamp. And we can go ahead and make this our mount. You know what? Lamp mount. Drag that under lamp. And we can select our cylinder and do lamp mount mount. <laughs> do uh, lamp cylinder. This is fine. And just drag it under lamp also. So um, now we can go ahead and. Um, position it on the wall there and I want to bring it up might be uh, too big in general so just scale it down not in general overall and um, so that's that is on the wall and you can adjust all the, all you want um, 
I'm going to leave it at this. And uh, so I'm going to select different parts and give them different kinds of materials and textures. So the light itself, the bulb itself, which is pretty uh, huge here, um, is going to have a glowing material. The lamp cylinder is going to have yet another uh, material and the lamp mount is going to have a third material. So uh, I think that the lamp mount, we could pl probably just apply planks to that one and it will look all right. Remember the tiling is different. So if I apply this and go ahead and change the tiling, um, it will affect both of them. So just keep that in mind that you have to create multiple materials if you want different uh, tiling properties. So uh, let's go ahead and right click and create yet another material. And this one is going to be called just uh, gray. No, uh, dark gray. Or gray dark, if you want to do it that way. And just the main color, just drag this down to a almost black. And there you go. So that's it for the mount. What I'm going to scale this mount down the cylinder there. This is better. Um, so that looks better. Um, and now let's go ahead and create the uh, the glowing. So right click new material, call this glow. And um, there are not really any wonderful ways to make an object glow in Unity without spending some money on a, a uh, plugin. So I'm just going to show you one of the uh, ones that I use. Uh, it could be self-illuminated or unlit, whatever you think. Uh, I like the unlit transparent. So drag that on, uh, on there and you can have a uh, texture over it uh, maybe the self-illuminated diffuse so you can go in and you can uh, you can change the color of the light and uh, make some illuminated and even make the uh, light mapper itself emit but uh, play around with these um, again that's not really an awesome way to do it um, Maybe the self illuminator. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure that one of these actually have a transparent mode. Uh, you could do the reflective to make it reflect the uh, whole environment. Um, so so just play with it. You might find something you like at the end. Um, You could also do stuff like uh, on the particles, you can do additive um, text, uh, materials. This will only work though if you also apply a texture. Of course, it shouldn't be this texture, but something in that order. Um, but okay, for now, I'll just go ahead and change this to self illuminated diffuse <coughs> and make the color a orange white ish so that looks all right uh i'll go ahead and drag out these two objects so i can scale it down a bit it might be too huge anyway um and then just drag them back in so yeah this is better um now let's go ahead and actually create what will emit the light so go to game object and create other and then choose the point light and um, you can see that it already looks much better um, this will just be centered in the middle of our sphere and we can go ahead and adjust some of the settings maybe um, if we select it uh, the the light it's that one and drag it under our lamp we can call this lamp light and um, we can go ahead and play around with some of the settings. So make it more orange. Uh, bump up the range to maybe 30, 20, 30. We'll do 30 and then down the intensity of the light. Something you like. 
you know what I'll I'll keep this is at 0 0.5 so um, this already uh, looks uh, pretty good um, if you want it to look like it's glowing a little bit more you can do something that is called haloing so um, we could go ahead and hit the component and then go to rendering and hit the where is it the skybox flare occlusion uh maybe miscellaneous wow i'm not sure now um oh so it's under effect and then halo and if we go ahead and adjust it so um i put that this on the lamp itself so if we go ahead and change the size of it you can see what it's actually about so it creates this spherish soft object around the object itself. So if you just make this a tiny bit bigger than the glowing sphere itself, so something like 0 0.5, and then change the color to maybe something brighter, I don't know. Um, for sure make it more orange though then we can actually make something that looks like it, grow, it glows a bit. It's not perfect, but it, uh, it will do the job. So there you have it. And this light is dynamic, dynamic, so should you choose to make it rigid body and fall around the scene or animate it, um, everything will animate with it. Will not do light mapping just yet. That's how you create uh, some textures um, apply them to objects, um, materials, and uh, glowing effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and go ahead and visit our website. Uh, you can play some of our games and soon you can download the uh, scripts that I type in the videos and some of the assets that I create so you don't have to create everything yourself if you don't want to or you can just generally buy me a, a cup of coffee. Um, for now the models and scripts are free. You can donate if you want to. All the money goes to something like this. It goes to new sound gear, uh, more more plugins. Maybe I could do some tutorials on Unity Pro once I get the money. Um, so, um, but you don't have to. You can just keep on watching for free. I enjoy making these, and uh, it makes me happy if if you can learn something from it. So, um, thank you for watching.